Today we're going to look at one of the earliest known theropods from the British Isles, the dinosaur Sarcosaurus. The first remains of Sarcosaurus come from Barrow on Saw in Leicestershire and were found by one Etta Wood. The dinosaur was sent to the British Natural History Museum in London where Charles William Andrews formally described it in 1921. Now, the remains that were found consist of a relatively complete pelvis, a vertebra and a femur. The remains of a second animal were found in Warwickshire and were assigned to Sarcosaurus by Friedrich von Hume in 1932. Though he did assign it to a separate species of Sarcosaurus andrusi instead of the original Sarcosaurus woody. A potential third individual was found in Wilcombe in Warwickshire and consists of a leg, pelvis and a couple of vertebrae. This individual was originally assigned the name Lyosaurus huni in 1995, but as the animal was not formally described as Lyosaurus, it is considered nomen nudum and a junior synonym of Sarcosaurus, and this will continue to be the case until a formal description is made of the second Warwickshire find, or until better material is discovered. And for a bonus find, there is an incomplete right tibia from the Isle of Skye that was found in 1992, it wasn't complete enough to be given a definitive assignment. However, it does represent one of the first dinosaurs found in early dress of Scotland and my first chance in this video series of British dinosaurs to actually mention Scotland. Now, the Scottish specimen may or may not belong to Sarcosaurus. Unfortunately, it is too uh, poorly preserved to, to tell what animal actually does belong to, other than the fact that it is a very early theropod. So what type of dinosaur was Sarcosaurus? Like so many other early theropod finds from Europe, it was briefly considered to be part of the Megalosaurids. Yeah, very similar theme there to so many other dinosaurs. But this was only a brief assignment. For most of its time, it has been considered a Coelophysoidea. Now the Coelophysoidea were a group of early theropods that emerged in the late Triassic period around about 221 million years ago. And at three and a half meters long, Sarcosaurus is one of the larger members of this group of dinosaurs. Now there is a phylogenetic diagram in this paper that does place Sarcosaurus with Dilophosaurus, the much more famous early Jurassic theropod that became one of the stars of the original Jurassic Park movie. However, this is the only information I can find on this, and the paper itself is actually describing a new dinosaur from Italy, Soltrio Venator, and doesn't really actually have any information about Sarcosaurus and why they decide to reassign it to Dilophosaurus itself. So until I can find any more information about it, I'm keeping it with the Coelophysoidea. As an early theropod, chances are Sarcosaurus would have been a predatory dinosaur, although we can't be 100% certain without any teeth or skull fragments. However, comparing it to the other Coelophysoides, which were all, as far as we know, meat-eating dinosaurs, chances are it would have been that as well. Being on the slightly larger end, it's a good chance it would have looked a lot like the German dinosaur Lillian Sternus, pictured here. Sarcosaurus itself lived around about 194 million years ago, during the Sanomerian stage of the early Jurassic period and was a contemporary of the British dinosaur Scalidosaurus. And that is today's British dinosaur.